Aquarius what's up this is Queen on Set Haru and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius if you haven't already please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell also if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and pass it on to anybody and everybody who might like it too drop us a positive comment in the comment section and if you want to get your own personal private reading done please hit me up on social media or on my email all of my information is underneath this video. I'll also put the link to the cards that I use whenever possible. I will give you a link. All right. So we're going to do your uh, love reading for June 2023 Aquarius. So the first pile is for my singles. So Aquarius, if you are single, here's your first card. You got the seven of pentacles, but it is reversed. I'm going to turn it into the upright because you can't see the card otherwise. And I'm going to tell you to you, I'm going to read it to you in the reverse. So this card here in the reverse seven of pentacles means that a lot of you are single. A lot of us, because I'm in this category too. A lot of us are single because we're not putting forth any effort into not being single. Um, now, remember this is a general reading so some of these cards will ap apply to you maybe all of them will apply to you but they don't have to so it just means that if you're single some of these cards or all of these cards could apply to you because i am putting in effort but not enough so this is definitely true for me um so what it's saying is is that if you want to be single be single you know, that's fine. But if you want to change that, it requires some effort on your part, Aquarius. And what it's saying is, is that you have to put this card is all about doing the efforts and different people have to put in different efforts. So as we go through, we'll see that. Um, but that's what this card is saying. It's saying that, like for me, for example, I'm putting an effort into bettering myself, opening my heart chakra, which we're getting ready to see in card number two. So for some of us, that's definitely going to be what it is. Princess of Cups. See the hearts right there? Some of us need to open up our heart. Some of us need to heal our heart. Some of us need to work on our heart chakra. Some of us are working on these things. Like I said, I am. But it's going to require more time, more effort, and more patience. Some of us, we're already done with that process. But we need to go date. We need to put ourselves out there. We need to go where single people are. We need to meet people. So, you know, like, that's why I said this is for all of us who are single, but we all have different issues that are going on. But they revolve around effort and they revolve around putting ourselves in these situations when we are then ready. Um, and making sure that we've healed anything and everything from the past. Now, if we do these things then here is what will be the outcome the eight of wands the eight of wands card is about love falling in love a moving forward in love you know blazing forward in passionate love even um this is a great card so for those of us who are looking for you know forward movement in our love lives it says if we do the things that we just talked about most of us are going to get it we're going to get someone who's going to come forward and have a very passionate you know um and not just a passionate encounter these the rest of the cards that show us but these uh situations they can be temporary but for many people it depends on what you're ready for if you're ready for something that is more mm, i'm gonna say long term <laughs> many of us will be able to manifest that all right now this is interesting to me aquarius if you're single, you got the spying card. Now, this is really interesting to me because this card means that you are either spying on someone or someone is spying on you. So this could mean you looking in your neighbor's window and being kind of a creeper. Come on, Aquarius. Or it could be somebody being a creeper and looking through your window. <laughs> okay. And spying doesn't have to be in person. Sometimes it is, but spying can also be online. A lot of people internet stalk people. That's the newest thing. I guess it's been for about 15 years now. People internet stalk you. They, they look at your page. Um, if you block them, they create a fake, you know, persona or a fake page so they can still follow you, you know. 
Um, and I only know this because somebody did this to me. And I was like, wait, what? You know, and told me about it. She was like, well, you wouldn't talk to me. So what you want me to do? You know, and I'm like, OK, so <laughs> so some of you are dealing with this or you are the one doing the, you know, the spying. If you're the one doing the spying, stop it, Aquarius. And if you're being spied on and you know who it is, you know, just make sure you're safe is my thing. If it's not, you know, because if somebody's Internet stalking you and they're not really bothering you or harming you, then that's that's one thing but if they're like leaving you threatening messages or things like that then that's something you definitely need to consider taking to the authorities so be careful with that so and it came up for june so you might have some issues with that in june also aquarius here's another one that you have to be very careful for careful of running game so this means that for some of you Somebody is trying to finesse you. They're lying about their intentions. Just trying to get in your draw, saying anything they have to say. Cheating, a cheater, uh, somebody who plays with your heart, uh, being treated or feeling like a fool. So some of you are dealing with this and some of you are the ones doing this. I hate to say it, but this is a very low vibrational thing to do to a person um, of any sun sign. But I know a lot of Aquarius that got game. <laughs> I got game. I don't use it no more, but I got it, okay? And my thing is, is that if you are running game, don't run game on people. Just be honest with them. Tell them your intentions. Tell them what you want. Just be straight up with them and go from there. And if you're talking to someone or someone's, Aquarius are pretty intuitive. If they're running game on you, you probably already know that. So if they're running game on you, it's for a reason, even if you don't know what that reason is. But you need to protect your heart because this is the kind of person that could hurt you. And then you'll be upset and you'll be bitter at everybody and their grandmother and don't want to date nobody ever again. But you sat there and let yourself, you know, get hurt by this person that you knew was running game. So if you know somebody's running game or you suspect that they're running game, lead them along. And if it's you running game, stop. Stop, Aquarius. Be honest. You can't be in a sacred relationship with somebody if you're not going to be honest. Some of you, hold up, let me put this here. Some of you don't know what you're feeling. And this is important. Remember I talked about the heart chakra earlier? Some of you aren't sure what you feel, how you feel, if you want to feel. <laughs> Some of you do know how you feel and don't know what to do about it because it's counterproductive to what you want. So this means that you have to tap into your feelings, Aquarius, and deal with them. If you need to get a grief counselor or some type of counselor or somebody to talk to, do that. If you need to get some self-help books or maybe some um, heart chakra meditations, do that. Uh, whatever it is, get in tune with your feelings and start to behave in a manner that is according to with whatever it is that you're feeling. Get certain about your feelings. And once you're certain about your feelings, act on your feelings. And if your feelings are not productive and don't need to be acted on, then you got to do something about how you're feeling. Now, the interesting thing about this is you keep getting this card. Singles. Oh, my goodness. I have pulled this card for us several times. Many of us are getting married. Take vows with the one you love. Many of us are getting married. Um, and that's like a given. If people are single, it's inevitable that some of them are going to get married. But this card keeps coming up. And what this tells me when it keeps coming up is that some of us would have been married by now. And some of us just aren't doing the things we need to do. The things I talked about earlier with the heart chakra, those things. Think about your effort in your relationships. Do you have limiting beliefs? Do you have pessimistic thoughts? Are you actually working towards having a relationship? Are you working your law of attraction? Have you gotten over your exes and healed and forgave them so you have the emotional capacity to love somebody again and trust somebody again? You got to ask yourself all these questions, Aquarius, because some of you should already be married and you're not because you're holding yourself back because of these hurts that have gone unhealed. And some of us are working towards this. We're currently going in this direction. And some of us haven't decided. Remember, with some people, they said didn't know how they felt. So some people still haven't even decided if that's what they want. So I feel like, Aquarius, this is really a month for you to make some decisions.
Now we're going to take a look at my monogamous couples. Monogamous couples, you guys got this card. It's the six of wands. It's reversed. Or is it the nine? It's the nine. You have the nine of wands reversed. So this means that my monogamous couples, some of y'all is beat down. This is a card about, especially in a relationship, this is about two people who just ain't getting it right. <laughs> it, they ain't getting it right. Some of them is fighting. Some of them are not fighting. Some of them have come to a place of numbness where they're just not really doing much of anything. They're just beaten and battered in this card. Um, this card is a card about um looking at what is currently going on and deciding if you want it to stay that way um because for some of you you've already been this way for a long time one of the things i've noticed about couples when they come across me is a lot of couples know they have a problem a lot of couples know that something needs to happen something needs to change but they don't work on it so in june they're telling me that a lot of you who already know this um, need to need to really consider like what do I want to do about this relationship? How do I want to heal and mend this relationship? So a lot of your relationships need some healing and need some mending and some of y'all just need some rest and some quiet time Those of you who aren't going through anything that you know really requires work Some of you are just going to want to rest and it's the summertime. So it's time for that. It's June So just rest and relax together It says here that some of you are holding on to feelings that you need to let go of so you can move on. So if your love has done something to you or you've done something to them, you have to look at the emotional aspect of this. This is a card about recovering from those things and moving on. So some of you already are. Some of you have already worked on this. You're already trying to recover. You're trying to move forward. Some of you need to, and the, the actual effort hasn't come, hasn't happened yet. Some of you are making progress too, by the way, because some of you have already been working on your relationship and are making good progress. So this is a good card. It's a card about progress and just taking the steps and continuing to take the steps that you need to take. This card right here came up reversed. So I'm going to show it to you in the upright, but I'm going to read it in the reverse. So what this is telling us is that this is a card about victory. So this month, many of you are not going to achieve victory. You know, you're not going to, you're not going to um, complete what you're doing this month. Many of you are going to be working on your relationship this month and you're going to be continuing to work on it um, into July and maybe even August. Um, some of you need to work on it and are not, and you're going to spend June, you know, pretty much just not doing anything. And some of you are going to spend June working on it, but not getting finished. So we have three different, you know, areas going on with our monogamous couples. Um, those of you who are working on it, I think that's always the best way to go. Now, let me tell you what some of the problems are that I saw coming up here. Some of you. One of the issues is this disappearing acts. So this means that one or both of you could be doing this. Like, for example, in some of your relationships, you're the one. Remember, Aquarius are known for ghosting. So this means that some Aquarius, some of y'all ghosting people, popping back up when you feel like it, not popping back up at all. You know, uh, this is what's going on. And some of you are dealing with another person who is doing this kind of thing. Disappearing acts are usually temporary, but sometimes they are permanent. Sometimes a person disappears and just never comes back. So Aquarius, if you're ghosting people and going backwards, don't do that, Aquarius. <laughs> I've done that too, Aquarius. I, I totally understand. Don't go ghost this relationship. Talk it out. Work it out. When you need to step back or you need to, you know, take some to a breather, that's one thing. A few hours, that's one thing. But running away and not talking to that person for days at a time, that's not going to work. Y'all have to find a way to communicate. The easiest way to communicate seriously is to get a, a relationship counselor. Um, but if you can't find a relationship counselor, there are self-help books on the market for couples. So you got to do something. And disappearing is not going to help for either one of you. That's only going to make the relationship disappear. 
Because nobody's going to put up with that forever. Now, you also got to be really careful because some of y'all is controlling. It says here, watching your every move, clocking you, telling you what you are and aren't allowed to do. Manipulative, creates drama, intimidates, get out. So some of you are in a situation you're not going to be able to salvage based on this card. Because if they're having controlling behaviors along with the other behaviors that we just talked about, you're in a bad relationship. So some of you have to be honest with yourself and be like, you know what, Queen, I did try. We have gone to the counseling. We have read the books. It ain't working. Well, guess what? It's time to move on. Because some of y'all are in situations where the cards are very clearly telling us it's not going to work. And it's time to move on. You already know that, though. You know, if you're sitting there watching this right now, you know it's time to move on or if it's not. Um, some of you, you're the one that's controlling. Some of you need to check yourself because you're being manipulative. You're creating drama and you are, you know, controlling or trying to control your partner. And this can be in any type of relationship, male, female, you know, it doesn't matter. You know, lesbian, you know, whatever, whatever kind of relationship you are, whatever monogamous relationship this is, some of you are trying to control the other person. It doesn't matter if you're a gay man or in a gay relationship. None of that matters. It just matters that that's not cool. Trying to control your partner is never good. So if your partner is doing things where you feel the need to control them, that's either something that's going on inside of you or that's a warning sign to you that they're doing something that your spirit is telling you is shady. <laughs> you know, you don't feel the need to control an environment unless there's something wrong in the environment. So it's either something wrong with you or it's something wrong with the other person or the situation or both. So you need to really look at this if you're controlling or being controlled. You're thinking about each other a lot, though. So for many of you, this is a good thing. You know, even if that person isn't acting right, they're thinking about you, thinking about what they should do, trying to figure things out. This is important because you need to figure these things out. You need to figure out what direction you want to go in. So you're definitely thinking about each other or one of you is thinking about the other one. Um, this is good. So even if you're not, you know, talking to each other, you're thinking about each other. And the last one says, for some of you, it's just a matter of setting boundaries, setting limits. It's like, look, this is my limit. This is my boundary. Please do not disrespect it. Um, some of you need to have those conversations. Uh, for some of you, you need to set the boundary. And for others, it's that that person is not, you know, a, a respecting a boundary, your boundary. Um, one thing about Aquarius, we are what they call perpetual line steppers. <laughs> I heard uh, some, I think it was Dave Chappelle said this about, uh, what is his name? Uh, Rick James. And um, I used to love that show. I don't, I'm not a Dave fan anymore. You know, Dave has some issues. I don't feel like being bothered with, but I used to love the Dave Chappelle show, you know, a hundred years ago. And when Rick James was alive, he was on the show and they always said uh, Charlie Murphy, Charlie Murphy's Eddie Murphy's brother. And he said that Rick James is a perpetual line stepper. Wherever the line is, he's going to step in on the line or over the line. That's because Rick James is Aquarius and Aquarius are known for being perpetual line steppers. So Aquarius. Either you or your partner is stepping on a line and it could be both of you. So you both need to set some boundaries, some healthy boundaries and stick to them. And don't disrespect your partner by stepping over their boundaries. You don't want somebody to do that to you. Don't do that to your partner. And my last section is my polyamorous people. So my polyamorous people, you got, you know, I don't know how many people in a relationship. It doesn't matter. We're just going to get some. So you could have, you know, I don't know. When it comes to polyamorous people, um, you know, it depends on really, you know, what you're comfortable with. You know, it could be, you know, two of you and maybe like a third or on either side making four. You know, it just depends. Um, everybody does this a little bit differently and that is your prerogative, whatever makes you happy. So I feel like a lot of times when I do these readings, my polyamorous, 
Uh, my polyamorous couples, in my opinion, seem to be having the best time. A lot of these, I'll be like, wow, they having fun. So I like that. That's a good vibration. The first card here is the star. So this says here for the month of June, many of you are going to be in a good energy. The star is a positive energy, but I'll tell you one thing about the star. The star is all about hope. So some of you may find yourself hoping or wishing for something different in the relationship. Maybe you're hoping for another party to come in. Maybe you're hoping for a party to leave, you know. Maybe, you know, there's a number of ways that could be going. You could be hopeful that your relationships are doing well. You know, you could be happy with the way things are going. So this is actually overall a positive card. And it's a very hopeful card for things to stay that way. This is also a transformative month for many of you. This is the death card. The death card is often misunderstood, but what it has to do with is transformation. So some of your relationships may be going under some type of transformation, either expanding, somebody might be coming in, somebody might be leaving. Uh, it could just be that you're, you know, decide to try new things. It says card about change. So you could be trying, you know, bondage this month or, you know, trying, you know, some new toys this month. Who knows? But it's saying here that it's a month about changes and embracing those changes and having fun with them. You got the two of wands. It came up reversed, but I'm going to show it to you in the upright. There we go. All right. So the two of wands in the upright. Uh, well, I said it came up reversed. So the two of wands, when it is reversed, this is actually not a bad card. This is about um, breakthroughs. And that means that for some of your relationships, something that could have been holding you back might, you know, change. We got two cars talking about changes in the relationships. So when you see a breakthrough, that means that, like I said before, something could change. Something could get better. Something could get worse, too. Um, but it, it's a breakthrough, though. So if it's getting worse, it's for the better. You know, um, you might find out that one of the members of, you know, your your throuple or your whatever, you know, as I, as I know, these all happen in different ways. So it could be three, it could be four, it could be five. So it could be that one of the members, you know, the breakthrough is that they're shady. <laughs> like you could have known they were shady. You felt they were shady. Or it could be that, that two people could have been having a problem with each other or were working through a problem. And now we've had a breakthrough in dream. Things have gotten better. So it doesn't have to be positive or negative. It just means there's some type of breakthrough in the overall structure of what's going on. It says here to really be considerate of each other. One of the things I would say about these types of relationships is that I believe a lot of communication, just from looking at the cards, I believe they deserve a lot of communication and a lot of understanding. This card is about really walking a mile in each other's shoes, really understanding. So let's say, for instance, you have a married couple and now they're taking on another gentleman. You know, the, the wife may want a, a gentleman or maybe they're both, you know, having a, a boyfriend, for example, or a girlfriend, for example. Um, either way, you know, and it's like being sure that you're considering that person and thinking like this is, you know, they're coming into a pre-existing relationship, um, making it easy for that person. Or it could be that you guys have been seeing each other for years and things have shifted. Maybe that person wants out or they want something else. Or maybe one of you wants something different. It's just being considerate of each other, understanding where each other is coming from. Um, a lot of that is with that communication I talked about before. A lot of that is <laughs> a lot of that is present here. That's how you find out how somebody feels is by talking to them and seeing where they are. It says to be patient with these processes in June. So regardless of what's happening, be really patient with the people that are involved. If it's going well, if it's not going well, just be patient with it. And and you all know the more people you have involved with something, the more messy it can become. So the more patient you are with each other, the better it will work out. This is a card about kindness. 
So being kind to each other. Remember, they just got finished saying, be patient with them, be understanding, be kind. Interesting, there must be something going on with a lot of you because these cards are all about how you treat each other. So it's talking about being careful, be kind to each other. Um, that kindness will change your lives. It will change the dynamic of the energy of what's going on too. And the last card, this is interesting to me, don't be jelly. Because a lot of people tell me that the reason why they don't engage in these types of relationships, let me move it over so I can see it good. There we go. A lot of people tell me that they don't engage in these types of relationships because they're afraid that they'll be jealous. And I don't think that that is a, a reason to stay out of them personally. I think you, have, you deal with jealousy in any relationship. I don't care if it's two people or one person or 40 people, you know, you all jealousy is something that we all deal with. Um, some of us more than others. Some of us find ourselves jealous all the time, you know, because of something that's going on inside of us. And some of us, it could just be situational. So this is saying that you have to look at that jealousy, mad for no reason, unfaithful in a relationship, suspicious behavior, feelings of insecurity, wanting what you can't have holding a grudge or being defensive so make sure that whatever is going on in the relationship that you're looking out for these things because these are the kind of things that can really make a polyamorous uh situation even more difficult you know it could make it even worse because i feel like polyamorous couples from what i'm seeing they're having a good time you know they're having a great energy right here every time i read poly couples i see a great energy of fun and openness and expansiveness but then i see jealousy then i see the need for conversation and communication and like i said i see this in all relationships but the more people you have the more room there is for messiness so this card is saying check yourself are you jealous are the, is somebody in the group jealous is, you know is, is it your significant other and it's not a bad thing it's something that needs to be discussed seriously because if it's just an insecurity then that's something that person has to work on within themselves and they may need support from the collective but if it's not an insecurity if it's something more you know it could be all kind of things you know it could be somebody acting in a, in a method that's treacherous you know um or maybe the couple or maybe somebody, they have an agreement and maybe somebody has broken the agreement. Because I heard in polyamorous couples, a lot of times they have these formal agreements. Maybe somebody's broken an agreement and it has caused some jealousy. So I would say talk about it, discuss it, look at it, you know, um, communicate about it before it becomes a problem. Because like I said, this these types of relationships i see a lot of a lot of positive energy around them but i think it's more positive when everybody considers each other's feelings you know on a consistent basis so that is the last one all right guys so aquarius <laughs> let me know which pile you were in and let me know if any of the cards, you know, uh, went along with the situations that you're in. And if you want to share, because I know some of these can be kind of, you know, kind of private. But if you want to share, please do. I always love to hear, like, how people relate, you know, to the, the pile that they got. Um, my pile, all that's going on with me. <laughs> all of that. That pile one, all of that is what's going on with me. So let me know what's going on with you. And you come back soon because I got a lot more to say. See you later.